although Godot was a game engine, I've always found it a great animation tool as well. However, one drawback was Godot's inability to record video and instead required the use of third-party software such as OBS to export animations. However, in the newest Godot 4 beta, movie mode has been added and is the answer to all my animation prayers. So enough rambling, let's get coding. To demonstrate this feature, I will be upgrading my procedural polygon background project. The tutorial for that is linked in the ad card and on the end screen. We'll start on the Godot project launch screen. This is Godot 4 Beta 4, although I don't expect the movie mode to change significantly between now and the official release. We'll select Import, and find our project. This is a 3.x project, so it needs to be upgraded to 4.x. We're going to select Convert Full Project. The conversion process cannot be undone, so it's going to suggest that we create a backup. If you're using source control, then you can easily just revert to commit, otherwise I suggest making a copy. The upgrade will handle most features for us, such as the new export syntax, although there are still a few things that manually need changing. For instance, update has been renamed to QRedraw, which in my opinion is a much better name. Additionally, the getScript workaround is no longer required, and we can simply replace this with the class name dot. That should be it for the script. Next, we'll need to update some project settings. In environment, we'll need to reset the player color back to black. And in window, we'll set the stretch mode to canvas item, which was renamed from 2D and 3.x. Also looks like our collision shape no longer fills the viewport, so let's adjust that too. When the project at this point, we should see everything is working again. To use movie mode, we need to go again into the project settings. Come down to the new editor movie writer option and choose a movie file directory. There are also options to disable vsync and to change the FPS value, but we're going to leave these as default. To enable movie mode, simply come up to the bar and click this new option to the right. Now when we run, we'll see a little bit of more information in the title bar. This will show us how long our animation has been running for and what frame is currently being exported. If we quit the project and navigate to our movie file, we can see a new output at AVI. If we execute it, we'll see that indeed our movie was exported. However, you'll notice that its resolution was the same resolution of the window that we were recording with. My monitor is 4K, so I like to record it in 4K. To fix this, again, project settings. This time we're going to go to Window and Mode. I'm going to choose Maximized, which I believe is a new feature in 4.0, but don't quote me on that, and Close. Now when we get the project to run, you'll see that the window starts in full screen. You may also notice that the animation is running exceptionally slow. This is because it's trying to render at 60 FPS, although it may not be possible to render that in real time. But if you pay attention to the title bar, you'll see that it shows you what frame is exporting and how long it's going for. If we inspect our output AVI now, we should see that it's the full 4K resolution and running at 60 FPS. However, most of my videos recorded in 30 FPS, so instead I'm going to change in project settings, movie writer, I'm going to change this to 30 FPS. Now if we run it, which you see that playback is a little bit faster. Because of the playback slowness when using movie mode, this feature is not recommended for real-time gameplay capture and external tools like OBS are still ideal. This feature is more so for capturing footage with a guaranteed frame rate where non-real-time playback is acceptable. And it really is that simple. Personally, I'm quite excited for this feature and I plan to do a lot more animation-based projects within Godot. Thanks for watching this quickie and as always, happy coding.